Take a break from the hustle and bustle of the holidays and go on a magical journey with The Nutcracker. The Ballet Repertory Theater's production of this holiday classic is this weekend at the Chemo Theater. The company's executive and artistic director, Catherine Geist, joins me with the details. Catherine, thank you for being with us this morning. Well, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, Ballet Repertory Theater has been producing this show for 17 years at the Chemo Theater. Correct. Which, in my opinion, is the crown jewel of theatrical work in Albuquerque. So, how do you keep it fresh every year? Well, Nutcracker is, everybody asks me that question frequently. How do you keep <laughs> Nutcracker fresh for doing it this many years? And a lot of it is um, the dancers. I have mm -hmm. open citywide auditions each year. Okay. And so I have new and different dancers that I'm working with. And um, also my seasoned company dancers that I work with year after year. I like to change things up based on who the new dancers are. Like maybe they inspire me differently and let's do something different. Mm -hmm. Or um, my seasoned dancers like, okay, well, I've seen you do Sugar Plum. Let's see you do Do Drop Fairy. Mm -hmm. And each dancer is going to bring something different to the table. And it's the same character, but they're going to interpret it a little bit differently. Right. And so it keeps it fresh. And um, I like to use them as inspiration to choreograph something new and challenge them, keep it interesting for the audience, for the dancers, and myself. That's so great. Well, let's talk a little bit more about Ballet Repertory Theater. Tell me about the uh, the company. Uh, well, Ballet Repertory Theater is a 501c3 uh, nonprofit uh, performing group as well as a school. Okay. And um, the company consists of 40 to 50 junior company members, which range wow. from ages 10 all the way up through adults. Okay. I'm sure our oldest member wouldn't want his name revealed. <laughs> um, and then um, also our company is 12 to 15 dancers each year um, that are apprentices, trainees, and paid company professional dancers. Okay, so is this is this a pre-professional company? It, yes. Um, yes? Yes. <laughs> it, it's a civic company um, that uses the community, and then we have the... The, the 12 professional dancers that are there inspiring the younger dancers mm -hmm. and showing them what it's like to be a professional dancer mm -hmm. and, um, and are getting that training. So it's kind of a little of both. That's great. Well, you know, I've always been a, a big believer that the on-the-job training, so to speak, yeah. you know, get in there and work with the professionals, that's going to give you mm -hmm. the best tutelage. So, um, so do all the performers train at the academy? You said you hold auditions, but do they all sort of go through this the same training? They um, are professional company once they get invited to to the company, they do perform at Ballet Repertory Theater for mm -hmm. the whole season. Um, however, the citywide auditions are open to any dancers that's dancing at all the various studios here in town. Okay. Um, as long as they're taking twice a week, they can come and audition and can participate with Ballet Repertory Theater. That's great. Well, tell me a little bit more about your classes that you offer. Uh, we offer classical ballet for ages three through adults. Really? That's, okay. Yeah, just strictly a ballet studio. That's great. So age ages three, I know I've got a mm -hmm. little girl that's, you know, she just turned two, but she's very active, so I would love to get her in something like ballet. And so that's great that you have little ballerinas, mm -hmm. which has got to be the cutest thing in the world. As so. soon as they're three, we take them. That's fantastic. Well, so um, tell us uh, about the performances. Uh, give us the details, when and where. We said the chemo theater, but how can we go and see this show? The, t uh, the performances are uh, this weekend, mm -hmm. Saturday at 2 p.m. and at 7 p.m. Okay. And again, Sunday at 2. Okay. And then we also have a Monday night show at 7. Okay. And then a Christmas Eve show at 1 o'clock. Oh, that's great. At the Chemo Theater. And if you want information, can we get tickets at your website at uh, brtnm.com? Uh, that will direct you to actually chemotickets.com. Okay, which so is there will the best be a link there. It, yeah. Great. All right, well, thank you so much. Very excited about well, thanks this. Thanks for having me. Tell all the dancers to break legs, have great performances. That's what we say in the theater. Do we say that in dance? Is it different? Um, well, we say Mared. Mared. Yeah. Mared. Okay, there you go. <laughs> have great shows. Have thank great you. shows. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. All